this. See, that's all what, yeah, that works quite well. You can see, I'm just picking it off again because um, I don't want to darken it too much. But then you can suddenly see the grey bits appearing. But I'll just, it's up here, that bit. And then suddenly this doesn't, this looks a bit odd. I don't know why. I think it's that line that I just did. It's this, I got wrong. Oh. So that's still okay. I need to just, um, it's, it's quite a warm area just there, but if I just do that, it should be for now. I'll leave it. I'm just guessing I'm gonna leave it and come back. We'll see what happens. Something a little bit odd about this area not sure if the drawing was completely right or something. The transition's a bit, a bit strange. Yeah, that's uh, when in doubt, just uh, run away, run away to somewhere else. It's just a tactical withdrawal, and then, um, yeah, we're not defeated by it, but I'm, I'm just going to come back to it. That's been wiped off. There's something that's like this, just, just going to get rid of the grey. still going. So I think what works really well about that is that first of all I did the glaze uh, without any white then I've just worked into it a little bit so um, you know I need a, another kind of brush for that and so I worked into it with the highlight but it's what it's done is just around the edges where it was white before in the grizz eye you can just see it subtly it's just there ever so slightly just a really really light touch and yeah it just works but it's a really sort of simple and efficient way to create that effect and it's because of the process it's because painting the glaze first then working into it There are lots of ways to do it, but that's the way I like. You know, and as we progress, I could just see other things um, that work and maybe don't work. So there's just an area just here around her mouth, just an ever so slight um, curve, you know, where it sort of joins the chin. It's not a lot because she'll she'll just look old. Like I'm not. I don't want to give her a wrinkle where there isn't one. Um, but there is definitely just the very slightest rise. Yeah. Right, and then this is important. So now I can see 
the, um, on the cheek. It's sort of green. I think it's got to be a bit of blue there. It's cool. Whatever it is, it's cool. And it's, it's here. And it comes through a bit more. It joins. It's part of this whole curve of the cheek into the jaw. See, that wasn't good. Um, I don't want to lose that. But again, I can just work work back into it. It's more like, and then it's kind of, yeah, a bit more, see, goes yellow. It just turns ever so slightly yellow, maybe. Maybe lighter, just there, but. That's, yeah, I don't want to overemphasize it. But there is something. As I progress, I always tend to just start out, you know, it's more and more color. Just to just see, you know, what colors to use, but. Yeah. Standing back, I'm just not sure about it. See, so that's more yellow, and that's quite good. I think this highlight will need it. Is very very light, but it's got a little bit of warmth to it, a little bit of yellow. I can start being bolder with the colours because it is guesswork. You become more and more sure of yourself and you gain confidence as you progress. But you can see that if you squint your eyes, it's all very similar, really. They're just tired, just ever such subtle changes and differences. So oh, this is definitely yellow. It's this bit. And here. And then that is just ever so slight. using what's there this is all very yellow as well so I'm going to go back into that Start looking jaundiced. These shadows are um, quite difficult. They're warmer than I've done them. But that can that might feel too warm. I think if you stand back, it might look okay. Yeah, colour. Yeah, that's quite a good one. We want rid of the, yeah. Grey is good, but we don't want to be completely, it to be all consuming. 
what's going to make a difference actually is when I do the lips because um, they're quite grey at the moment. Oh dear, right. <laughs> Just clean this quickly. That's fine. That's very wet though. Look at that, just where it didn't feel wet. Now that, <coughs> that's not great. I'll just have to leave that for a sec. So, just noticed on the neck, we need to work into that shadow again. That's good. really pretty warm so if I do that then what I need to do is have a lighter version of it uh, so here and then this area I'll finish that in a while Sorry if it's all quiet. Oh, and I really hope I'm not breathing heavily. I really am sorry if I am. Just sorting out the reference a minute. It's quite red around here. We really need to make it very pronounced. I can go back over it. The very first video I ever made um, was of uh, she had red hair, and that was just a delight to. Um, do the first glaze so just red just go over it and I thought I just did a short actually a YouTube short of that um, because it's probably my favorite thing of all and um, the thing was you know in the end it was really really vibrant so I'm doing it once and I'll go over it again and maybe three glazes and it will be really very very bright Oh, you're not, not 
not to be afraid of doing too too much. That's, that feels feels right. Uh, and that reminds me. Okay, so we're going to do the ear. So the ear is pure red. I'll just come down here. Maybe a touch of white. Surprising, but yeah. Just absolutely pure camera, just a tiny bit of white, and that's enough. I can go over that with, I can cool it if I want with some alizarin. Um, maybe just, um, yeah, there's quite a bit of red in here as well. Um, so I, I did that, then what I can do is just make a pink, just a tiny bit of yellow. This is um, so very, very pink, but maybe. So again, same principle, just um, working into something that's already there. lighter and then light so let's be too different I don't want it to well, yeah, does it glow? Don't want that. So here, that would be quite good in the middle. And I can make it even richer by um, doing another glaze on top. It's a bit weird. Very, very, uh, yeah, anyway, you get the general idea with that. Now, while we're here, it's all one video, so I just, if you'll forgive me, I'm going to do, I'm going to just wipe the palette down a bit. Again, wet wipes, really, really good for this. That's okay, I can still mix on top of that.
So I know the colours look a little bit odd, uh, but in a way, you know, it'll all make sense when the if you know when the background is all sort of smoothly painted, or you know, maybe just a slightly cooler background, and those are the colours <coughs> that I can see because it's quite a theatrically lit image and uh and so it's not as if she's just uh, i think it's taking you know it's from a photographic studio so um it's not as if she's got the sort of um possibly more subtle colors that you'd get outside anyway See, too yellow, maybe about right. It's so all I really need is um, yellow and red and blue. But that is going to work well here. So now I'm um, got to be aware of the, st the structure. This is like the cheekbone. It's coming round. Now it's all a similar colour. So I'm just going to come into here. And this is... I don't want it to be too light, so I'm just honestly going over it so lightly. This is quite grey under here. With this process, you just get wiser. You just learn what's there. You know, what are we looking at? This is, it's pink here, but I didn't know that before. I didn't know that at the start. And then this is probably orange. But I couldn't see that. I didn't see how to do that at first it's just a conclusion that I've reached just messing about with it same with here still just using the hog's hair which is my um, brush of choice it's just one that just yeah it's got a nice effect, softness to it so i forgot i was going to do the mouth um, it's quite light so it just just a slight hint there and i've realized this is all quite cool now I want the grey. I posted it on my Instagram actually. Um, it's an old portrait I did of a young man just sitting um, with his arms around his knees and he's wearing jeans. Anyway, there's uh, you can see uh, the first coat, the first go of uh, like I went straight in with a half paste. And it's just lovely the way um, the grey shows through. I don't mean it just because it's a lovely painting, I just mean that I just love that effect.
it's kind of uh, kind of working a bit a bit more so yeah that's sort of starting to look something better a bit better Some two grey in places. And I can see uh, it's still quite light down there. But this is light, but it's not as light as that highlight. So this is like a transition colour. Which personally, yeah, rather than just, you know, you can model it, that's fine. But that's what Cezanne did. He just uh, he modelled the form with colour itself. So uh, yeah, it's just getting a little. There's a weirdness there, just from probably the hog's hair. Ah, uh, yeah. So there was um, this bit um, here as well. Oh, sorry, my stomach's going. I'm starving. It's not exactly right, but it's, I just wanted to get rid of, um, there's more of a highlight around there. Just get rid of that grey. Actually, I do have a slightly smaller brush. I'm just going to do another highlight. This is just a tiny bit of yellow as well. I don't want it to be completely yellow though, so I add a bit of red. Uh, there you go. So now it's a bit pink, now it's a bit yellow. stick I need a really fine brush to do this which I don't have to have but that's okay and then there's oh, oh my gosh I don't know why I did that Putting a little bit of um, medium in it. It's quite wet. Okay, this is a nice bit. So I'm adding a little bit of crimson because I just noticed this. It's just a little highlight, but it's it's crimsony. That's the best bit so far. In a way, it's similar. Up here, I can use something similar. That happens where you've got, you know, brushes that are a bit old. Um, they've just got stray hairs. I think I'm going to stop for some lunch. Okay.
We'll see you in a bit.